Hello and welcome FBL fans. I'm your host Joe Zamora here and I'm bringing you week five of the FBL draft. Um, we get to face off against TG aka the Virginia Pressure and uh, he has a very scary team. I can't wait to battle it. Let's see what he actually brought this week. Um, I'm heavily relying on webs this week. Uh, he didn't seem to have a very reliable uh, remover. I mean, he does have one of hazards, but uh, I think um, you'd be able to repeatedly get sticky webs down if need be. So I'm going to play a lot more cautious with Ravambi than I have. And uh, let's go ahead and see how this goes. So he pretty much brought everything I expected except for the Steelix. Um, so, I mean, I'm not too worried about the Steelix, but that might be his lead. And it kind of sucks because uh, we do have Specs Kitten and I didn't want to deal with the ground type. But, you know, it is what it is. I think I'm going to go ahead and lead off um, Warts Art here. So, um, the big thing is we got to get faster than Urshifu. I don't know if he brings Scarf. If he brings Scarf, we're kind of in a bad spot. So, we really need uh, Webs for sure this game. He might even lead um, Reggie Lackey, so Wartsart isn't a, isn't bad for that either. So good luck, have fun, TD, and um, let's see who can get this win this week. I'm hoping we can get another win. Uh, we won last week uh, and the week before, so hopefully we can stay on the roll and get another win this week. And he does go Reggie Lackey, so we will be able to leave live any hit uh he might get his um he might get a screen up he doesn't have a floaty mon uh so that's fine with me i think i'm just gonna go ahead and uh click stealth rocks i'm not too scared of taking a hit from this thing but i still wouldn't want to but luckily he switches out and goes straight to tangrowth and that's fine with me so tangrowth is gonna come in uh, we get stealth rocks up don't believe tangrowth has a way to remove them and from here we can go to kitten claws why not kitten claws and just click sludge wave uh steelix would be the perfect switch for him but then we can just go back out to wart's art uh, hopefully he didn't knock off that would, that would suck Okay, Giga Drain, beautiful. Hopefully he doesn't knock us uh, knock off us here, because I really want this uh, extra damage from the specs. And if he stays in, we might even get the Oko. So hopefully he could just stay in. So go ahead and go for the knockoff. That's fine with me. I just don't want to go for a Volt Switch. Okay, how much does this do? That might be a salt vest of Tangrowth, because that did not do well. I mean, it did well, but, you know, we didn't take it out. And he might be expecting that, but we just got to click uh, Sludge Wave again. He does get great damage off. With the Rock Slide. So he's going to go Steelix, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. So that's fine. Uh, we do have Wish Pash, so we can get the uh, health back if we need to. So we're just going to go back to Wart's Art here. We're going to play a little safe at the beginning, but we got to set up and fire off some hits against his team. I'm not too worried about rocks because my uh, Volcarona has uh, heavy duty boots. And um, let's see. Rabambi also has heavy duty boots. So I'll, I'll, I won't be worried about the rocks there. The only thing that really worries about the rocks is um, thunders. But we should be fine. Okay, so let's see what he wants to go to here. Nothing on his team wants to take an earth power. So I'm just going to go for that. He might just go back to Tangrowth. 
Yeah, he does. Oh, regenerator. Totally forgot about that. But he does get chipped by the rocks. Earth power is going to be nice. And, uh, can we set up here? I'm not opposed to it. Oh, what does a Tangrowth do to Sharknado? I'm, and I'm, I'm thinking it's a salt vest, so it can't sleep powder us. You know what? Let's go to Sharknado and just, uh, try to take advantage of this situation here. He's gonna go probably for a rock slide. Yep. All right, what does he go to here? I'm going to just click Poison Jab because he's probably going to go to Ninetales. I don't want to set up and then not be able to do anything. So Poison Jab is what I'm doing. Ah, oh, I should have set up. It's okay. Tang Growth is no longer a problem. So one less issue for Wartart to deal with. But now he knows we are Poison Jab and we are Life Orb. So that can be a problem. Could be. Not necessarily is. He could probably go to Nine Tails here, but then we'll go to uh, Jirachi. Does nothing to a Jirachi unless it has Shadow Ball, and I don't think he will fit that onto his team just to be, you know, overly prepared for it. So the Rock's damage goes off against Nine Tails beautifully. Breaking any sashes on that team so far. Obviously, they're going to get their Aurora Veil up. But we should be fine. We should be able to stall it out. 11 11 is in charge. Goes Aurora Veil. As predicted. So he's going to see we are, um, we are, uh, can't think, we are, um, leftovers, so he's going to probably think we are pretty defensive, and we are, we are max HP, max speed, because I wanted to outspeed the Urshifu if it's not Scarfed. Okay, so Metagross comes in, interesting play, could he be setting up with this right here, right now? I'm going to go for the Wish. I'm going to go for the Wish, and I am going to go... I'll go to Wartzart. We'll take the hit, we'll get the health back, and then we'll, we're just going to Scald this thing. I don't want to bust a weakness policy while the screens are up, and a burn would be nice. Earthquake shouldn't do much. Does not, and we'll get the health back. And uh, we're going to try to burn something. If not this, whatever he switches in. He does not have a for sure answer to us anymore. So, Scald is the play. Again, I don't want to bust a weakness policy. So we got the Scald. Clearly not going to do much. Did not get the burn. Alright, so we can, we're can we going to take one more Earthquake hit if he decides to do that. I want this burn. I want this burn. I want this burn. I mean, it's better if it doesn't happen because RNG is annoying to deal with. But, you know, it would help. <laughs> I mean, either way, if I don't uh, get a burn here, e even if I do get a burn, I'm switching to um, Thunderous. Kitten Claws. Kitten Claws. I just really don't want to pop a weakness policy. And he's just going Earthquake. He might even be banded. Maybe? Question mark? Alright, so the hell stopped, so that's five turns. Auroraville has 
I think, four more turns because it got a bell after the health started. So I'm going to go Kent and Claws here. Predicting the earthquake. Oh, the, the rocks, the rocks, the rocks. Do I make the hard read and just go fiery dance? No. Fiery dance would be so good. I um, think I'm just going to make the play and go back to Wart's Art. No, I'm just going to Volt Switch. I'm, I'm going to play it safe. No reason not to. Bullet Punch. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Good thing I didn't switch. He did bluff that very well. Okay. Um, I think now is a good time to get my webs. I can't fire off anything good enough to hit this thing anyway. And a bullet punch won't kill, I don't think. So sticky webs is the play here. Punch. Does that kill? Oh, it's close, but it doesn't. So we get our sticky webs off. The Aurora Veil wore off. Do I let Tinkerbell go down here? I don't. I think he's going to go to Reggie Lackey. So I'm going to go to Wart's Art. We're faster, so obviously we switch first. Let's see if he switches. Hopefully he switches. Rocks damage. Bullet punch. Okay, so the question is, does another bullet punch take us out? It does not look like it. And are we faster? Are we faster? Are we faster? I don't think we are, but we're going to go for the earth power. Oh, we're faster. Yes. That should take out the Metagross, and it does. One threat averted. One threat averted. One threat down. A lot more to go. <laughs> A lot more to go. Uh, he does not go Regilecki here, I don't believe. He goes Urshifu, and that's fine with me. Uh, Urshifu gets caught in the sticky webs. And I am going to go Scald. Scald would bulk up. Okay. That is not good. But we get the Scald. Uh, doesn't burn. Alright, and we are slower, so we're going to take a hit. Drain Punch is going to kill, for sure. We do get Rocky Helmet damage off, but he does get health back. Oh, he doesn't get Rocky Helmet damage because he killed. Ooh. Okay. Well, we're going to go Tinkerbell here. Tinkerbell here. And we're going to go Moonblast. Because, well, why not? Moonblast against Urshifu. Oh, Aqua Jet. I totally forgot about priority moves. Oh, that kills. That kills. That's not good. Well, we still have an answer. I threw away a Pokemon because I forgot Aqua Jet was a thing. But we should be fine. Zen Headbutt. We should be faster. He's clearly not Scarf because he bulked up. So let's see how much Zen Headbutt will do. I don't believe it's a one-shot because we're no attack investment. So let's see what happens here. Oh, Ninetales in the back is such a threat. 
So if we lose Jirachi, that's going to be a problem. Okay. We do get the hit, but Surgeon Strike's going to pop off. It's going to hurt, but not too much. We should live it. And a burn would have been nice. And of course, the guaranteed crits. The guaranteed criticals. And the real question, does Aqua Jet knock us out from here? Oh, it does. All right, it's Sharknado's time to shine. He is bulked up, and he's living at half. So that is a problem. I just got to go for... Do I go for Swords Dance? No, because I won't live on Aqua Jet. So I'm just going to click Earthquake. We are faster, unless he goes uh, Aqua Jet. But we are rough skin, so that would hurt. Oh, man. I think it's going to come down to uh, Volcarona having to set up a lot. A lot, a lot. We're going to have to click two Quiver Dances instead of just one. All right, Steelix comes in. I'm much less afraid of this thing. I mean, it is really defensive, though. So we do get the Earthquake off. Oh, almost kills. Almost kills. Uh, I'm not going to risk the setup. I know that's what he's wanting me to do. And I'm not going to do it. He probably also just wants Life Orb damage on me. And I'm not going to give it to him. No, sir, Rebob, I'm not. Best part about that was he lost his setup, so we're going to hit a little bit harder with Garchomp. And Garchomp gets another kill. Uh, he is faster with Reggie Lecky, though, even with the webs. So he might go Reggie Lecky Explosion here, which would be a very smart play on his part. And I am going to go for the skill shot to get that speed boost, just in case he decides not to explosion here. And uh, he explosions here. Oh, what a great time if I would have had protect. Oh, what a beautiful day that would have been. All right, so the real question is, does he go... Does he go Urshifu? Or does he go Nine Tails? And the real question is, which one would I rather him go into? If he goes Nine Tails, I'm set. I can't set up. I got to hit. I got to hit with Fiery Dance. Oh, and it should kill because it's going to take more rocks damage. And we're going to be faster because of the, the, the webs. Oh, I think we win from here. I honestly think we win from here. Uh, Nine Tails comes out. We just got to hit. We can't. We can't risk not hitting. Clutch Heavy Duty Boots. Snore Warning pops off, which is fine. We're not sashed anyway. And we just click Fiery Dance. We should be faster. We should be faster. And if we're not, the GG. Okay, so we are faster. Beautiful. Fire dance kills. Do we get the speed? Do we get the special attack boost? Beautiful. And he's gonna have to aqua jet us, and we should live. We should live. We should live, right? Right. I hope we live. I really hope we live the aqua jet. Oh, it's unboosted. It's unboosted, and we kill with Giga Drain. Unboosted, and we kill with Giga Drain. Come on. We were faster than the line tail, so we we're obviously faster than this. But he's gonna aqua jet. He has to aqua jet. But can we live it? Can we live it? He does an aqua jet, and we get the kill with Volcarona. Volcarona winning us two games in a row.
beautiful GGTV, aka Virginia Pressure. Oh, we are on a win streak and we're going to keep on rolling, baby. We will see you guys next week for week six where we make some changes to our team.